So example one, we've got two vectors a and b. Calculate the scalar projection of a onto b. So we want the scalar projection here. So a onto b is going to equal our vector a dot product with our unit vector of b. So that's going to be the dot product of a and b over the magnitude of b. Now a quick easy way to remember this formula is thinking about that unit vector being the vector b over its magnitude. If you think about that then you can see I've just replaced that unit vector with that information. So it's not that hard to remember and to know what's going on. So now I need this information. I like working it out off to the side. So my dot product of vectors a and b is equal to 5 times 3 plus negative 1 times 4. So that's 15 minus 4 which is 11 and my magnitude of vector b oops didn't mean to do that my magnitude of vector b is equal to the square root of 3 squared plus 4 squared square root of 25 which is 5 that's that 3 4 triangle again so I come back and plug this information in so I have 11 over 5 and that's units. Okay so that's the scalar. Now 11 over 5 is an, an exact decimal so you could answer as 2.2 units. Next that calculate the scalar projection of B onto A. So we've got B onto A. So my vector B dot product with my unit vector of A. So in terms of the formula, B scale <laughs> the dot product of B and A over the magnitude of A. Now you could just write a dot b, it's the same thing, it's up to you. Um, I just try and get into the process of writing the formulas so whatever comes second goes on the bottom, so then I remember. So now I need the magnitude of a, which is going to be the square root of 5 squared plus negative 1 or squared, which is the square root of 25 plus 1, which is the square root of 26. Now my dot product I found from part A, which was 11, so that's 11 over the square root of 26. I need to rationalise my denominator. So this becomes 11 square root of 26 over 26 units.